Chaplain Tony, Faith Riders of Christ Motorcycle Ministry, hoping you're all having a fabulous 4th of July weekend. Let me get this put up, and I'll meet y'all inside. Welcome back. This is my studio, my office, my man cave, uh, whatever it happens to be used for at the time. As you'll notice on the wall, large framed picture of the American flag. And if we scan around, you'll notice the memorabilia and other flags hanging. I'm proud to have been born in this country. I'm privileged to have been born here and allowed to serve this country and protect it. I am proud to live in a nation that our Lord God has truly blessed. Today is a day to celebrate, a day to celebrate that freedom, a day to enjoy yourself, go out, barbecue, shoot off fireworks, celebrate. Let me read you a quick letter that John Adams wrote to his wife, Abigail, uh, referring to just that back in 1776. The second day of July, 1776, will be the most memorable epoch in the history of America. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as a great anniversary festival. It ought to be commemorated as a day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, illuminations from one end of this continent to the other. From this time forward forevermore. Now, if you notice, he mentioned July the 2nd. And for those of you that might not know, our actual divorce from England was July the 2nd of 1776. But it took two more days to straighten up reword a few things in the Declaration of Independence before it was presented, before it was signed and presented to Britain. So that's why he, he had wrote the second instead of the fourth, and that's why we celebrate the fourth instead of the second. During the writing of the in, uh, Declaration of Independence, our Lord God was mentioned several times. Most of us learned this in elementary school. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with one another and to assume the powers of the earth, the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impelled them to the separation. They continued on. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Those are the three primary things that separate us from other nations that are in our Constitution. Life, liberty, and our pursuit of happiness. Let's go on. The last mention is at the end of the Declaration of Independence. And for the support of this Declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor. Divine providence. God. He is our divine providence. Lord, I just ask on this day of celebration of this great nation of ours that you continue to look over us, continue to watch over us. Lord, guide us. Aim us in the right direction. Help us to pull back 
for those that are denying you. Help us to show them the light and bring them toward you. Lord, protect each and every one of us as we do celebrate this great nation of ours, this nation that you've provided. Lord, just as a personal thanks, we love you.